I bless the Lord and His praise will continue in my heart 24-7. Welcome to Piercing Darkness. This is Apostle Sally. I want to welcome to a show called Piercing Darkness. It's time to lift up Christ and let the light shine in this dark world. The gospel is the power of God unto salvation. I'm going to take you to one of our healing school services where God gave me a revelation to train people on how to receive your healing and keeping it. Be inspired as the healing begins in your life. Whatever you're going through, know that God wants to heal you and deliver you. We just finished a powerful crusade at the Confession Center. We'll get ready for another one in Port St. Lucie. Uh, the Civic Center. Mark your calendar. I'm going to be there the 18th of October. I'm also going to be in Tampa the 1st, the 2nd, the 3rd of October. So for more information, you can call us or visit our website to get more information about these events. If you have family in Tampa, they can come participate in the service. But we want to invite all of you to come to Port St. Lucie and experience the power of God. Jesus is Lord. I'm also going to be in Georgia the 24th and the 25th of October. I'm also going to be in Greenville the 23rd of October. So all those events are going to be powerful. Visit our website for more information. I want to encourage you to get my teaching on healing. Let the healing begin. That's going to inspire you to know how to receive your healing and to keep it. It's all on CD and also on DVD. Jesus wants to touch you. He wants to bless you. But you have to believe. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. The way the world is going now with crazy things happening, you got to put your faith in God. Enjoy this broadcast and I'll be back to pray with you. Satan wants to steal from you divine health. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 15. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 15. And the Lord will take away from you all sicknesses and none of the evil diseases of Egypt which you knew will he put upon you. But will lay them all on, will lay them upon all who hate you. Wow. It says in the King James Version. And the Lord will take her from thee all sicknesses and will put none of the evil diseases of Egypt which thou knowest upon thee, but will lay them upon all them that hate thee. So, sicknesses that were, Egypt represents the world, pagan, worship other gods. That includes bipolar, that includes STDs, that includes HIV. That includes all sicknesses. That's why Christ took all those stripes. He took all those stripes. <laughs> Did you hear what? Did you hear that? That you may walk in the right of divine health. When Jesus was here, he never fell sick even a single day. He was healthy. Somebody put a smile on your faith, faith and say, "I'm going to be healthy the rest of my life." Because the Lord is revealing to me the mystery of divine health. Now the Spirit of God is the best teacher. So he wants to teach you about divine health. So you can know your right. Because once you know your right, you're going to walk in it. It's your right to be healed. It's your right to be healed. So he says, do not let those sicknesses and diseases, evil diseases that want these Egyptians rest on you. But it will come upon them that hate you. So, from the scripture we see that the plan of God for us believers is to be in divine health. Number two, to prosper. This takes me back to Psalm chapter 1 and verse 3. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth fruit in his season. It goes on to say, um, His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever it doeth shall prosper. Then it goes on to say in verse 4, The ungodly are not so, but are like chaff, which the wind driveth away. So the wind, satanic forces, the judgment of God means God has lifted his hand so the devil can come in and do what he wants to do. 
That's why the Bible says, his grace is sufficient for thee. So when the grace of God is sufficient for you, the enemy has no access. Deuteronomy 28 verse 14. Quickly. I'm going to give you as much scriptures as possible. It says in verse 14, And thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which I command thee this day, to the right hand or to the left, to go after other gods to serve them. We shall not serve any other what? God. But only Jehovah what? God. So, when people walk up from the Lord, they walk into things like this. Verse 28. The Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. Depression. Work of the enemy. God's hand is lifted. Sins at his work. What comes forth? Depression. No, real, no fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Once you fellowship with the Holy Spirit, depression will not stay. Now, let's talk about areas that need healing. Your emotions. I mean, your soul. Your body. So what makes your soul? Your emotions. Your mind. Your will. Wounds, if you're wounded in your heart, it's going to affect your will. The will to serve God is not there if you've been offended and you're carrying the offense. If you've been molested when you're still young, that could create some stuff. So we, know, we see a lot of things that cause this kind of sickness to come in, in people's bodies. Uh, but you see, sick, sickness wants to be in your soul and in your body. Now, some sicknesses are attached into your body, but the root cause is in the soul. We're going to see that quickly as I go to that. But first of all, understand it's your right to be healthy. Everybody said, God's will is for me to be healthy. God wants to release you from medication. The doctor is going to tell you, you don't need this anymore. The doctor will tell you, you don't need it. I didn't say, throw it away. No, the doctor will want, will tell you. Because a lot of people prayed for the doctors told him, you don't need this medication anymore. The tests we have done show that you're totally free from medication. Because medication has side effects too. They even warn you, if you take this one, you could, it could introduce this. You read it, it has side what? Effects. It's chemicals. So it takes that one but introduces another. But God can totally set you free from medication. I'm not saying you should not take medication. You should. But understand that God can deliver you from medication also. But that's another benefit of the kingdom that you can advance into. Then when you perceive in your heart that God wants to heal you and then keep you in good health, then you can apply that principle and be in good health. It was in good health. So whereby if you're like Sarah, she was old in the Bible and she still got pregnant and gave birth to a baby. Very old lady. But that didn't stop her from getting what? Pregnant. Now, what, you see, two women in the Bible, Elizabeth and Sarah, old. Health is a benefit. Write it down. Healing is a benefit. Now, put this one down also. Ignorancy is not a benefit. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. There's a lot of Christians today that are sick, not because God didn't want to heal them, but because they didn't believe that he can heal them, or they didn't believe it is their right to be healed. So you're going to come out of that today. You're coming out of it. Healing could manifest. How do we receive our healing? First of all, we know it's our right. Two, we submit to the Holy Spirit who begins to unravel, reveal it to us or bring it to pass. Because the Spirit of the Lord is here to make sure that things are going on to bring glory to God. He's here to help us. He helps us in our infirmities, in our weaknesses. Now, who is the master of sickness? Satan. And what spirit has he allocated the responsibility to bring sickness upon people? Infirmity. The curse of infirmity. 
the curse of infirmity is the one that is behind all sickness and disease. Now, if you realize a lot of people in America are dying from cancer. It's a big killer in this country. But the strongman is infirmity. Different regions, when you go to different regions, you find different kinds of sicknesses that are killing people. But cancer is one of the strongholds in this country. There's HIV. You have to understand, a curse doesn't come away because you prayed it away. A curse is removed because you understand your covenant right through the blood of Jesus. That's when the curse is broken. I'm going to make a very dangerous statement, but you know, I have a right to make my opinion. Doctors do not cure, they treat. Jesus cures. God bless the doctors. They're doing a great work to treat people. But the Lord is the one that brings the cure. Treatment is fine, but a cure is A+. Plus. That's what the Bible says. Affliction shall not rise a second time. He who the Son sets free shall be free indeed. That's why you don't understand that the gifts of healing. Now, when I begin to talk about the healing, how to receive your healing, first of all, it begins by you submitting to the Lord. Now, divine healing is what I'm talking about by revelation through Christ because demons do their own fake thing too. Because Satan is out to deceive. But I want to teach you from the scripture. You've got to know you're right. Get these scriptures, meditate on them. You quote the scripture and meditate on it. But before I talk about how to receive, the details of how to receive your healing, let me show something which is powerful. When you come to the Lord, know that he wants you to be healed. Like you came today because you're believing. How many of you believe? I wish I could lift up my legs too. I believe. of the
Take me to the secret place Of the Most High God 1 Kings chapter 8 verse 56 1 Kings chapter 8 Verse 56, quickly turn there. You could write it down too. Blessed be the Lord that has given rest unto his people, Israel, according to all that he promised. There have they not failed one word of his good promise, which he promised by the hand of Moses, his servant. Ever say, he will not fail to keep his word. That's First Kings chapter 8, verse 56. I'm going to read again for those of you who still trying to find the scripture. Blessed be the Lord that has given rest unto his people, Israel. Remember that word rest I told you earlier? He has given rest to all and to his people Israel according to all that he promised. There has not failed one word of all his good promise which he promised by the hand of Moses. So when you're in prayer, remember God has promised to heal you. He has promised and he will bring it to pass. Whether you have insurance or you don't have insurance, you don't have to be stressed. It says, I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Say it with me one more time. I shall not die, but I shall live and declare the works of the Lord. Say it while you're having your breakfast cereal. I shall not die. I shall live and declare the works of the Lord. Hallelujah. While you're signing the check for your mortgage, I shall not die, but I shall live and declare the works of the Lord. You receive healing by tapping into the realm. Now some healings will take the gift, they will manifest through the gift. There's a gift of healing inside the gifts of the Holy Spirit. We see the gift of healing at work. Once the gift of healing is operating, the sicknesses are healed. Now, the doctors could treat them, but you know, the Lord brings the cure through the gift of healing. Now, the gift of miracles will begin to deal with things that doctors can't fix or treat. We also see this in the gift of faith. But with the gift of faith, you can raise the dead, and also other things happen. Now, tonight, I don't put limits on God, because this afternoon, like now in this class, the gift of miracles could begin operating. <laughs> Somebody said, Hallelujah. When a deformed person comes and begins to walk, it's a gift of miracles. Somebody said, Hallelujah. So once we see a deformed person walk, we, we, we're just going to shout, Hallelujah. Somebody came with, you know, showed the increase in five inches, gift of faith. People losing weight so instantly, gift of faith at work. So some things happen as a result of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And some things happen when the Lord, we, we, you should understand that the gifts of healing are operating right now even as I speak. But healing can come through as a gift, also it can come through when you claim it through revelation. Even though there's the gift of healing is not operating, you can still be healed through claiming it by faith. Now, everyone has faith, but the gift of faith is not the same thing as everyone has faith. Did you get that? Let me say that one more time. When the, the, the gifts of the Holy Spirit are in operation, God gives gifts to people the way he wants. That's why preachers should not be competing or fighting or getting jealous of each other. You have to know what size of your shoe you wear. If you wear size 4, stay in size 4. Don't try to wear size 10. Amen. 
It's the work of the Holy Spirit. Now somebody probably went and prayed for the sick and nothing happened. He said, I don't believe in healing. And they read a book about it. But some things are going to take the gift of faith. Like this missionary was in Africa preaching somewhere and the lion came to attack the people and he pointed a finger at it and it froze, died right there. It's a gift of faith. Watch me, that God is healing right now. There's somebody with a vision problem. God is healing you right now. There's somebody with a digestion problem. Watch me by television. God is healing you. Watch me on the internet. You have a condition of digestion issues. The Lord heals you right now. In the name of Jesus. I come against fibromyalgia. I command you to go right now in the name of Jesus. Right there in your system. The Lord delivers you from fibromyalgia in the name of Jesus. Somebody having hair loss. God delivers you too in the name of Jesus. There is somebody with a deaf ear on the left side. God heals you. Your deaf ear opens. You can hear me from the deaf ear right now. Pop, it just popped open. You can hear me right now. We, we want to hear from you. You can email us your praise report. You can call or email your praise reports. God is healing you right now. The glory of God is moving powerfully. The Lord is delivering people. The Lord is setting people free right now. Father, prophesy a breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I cancel foreclosures right now. There are some people that are your foreclosures. God is delivering you from foreclosure. I see a number 4717, something like that. If that's your house number, rejoice because that is solved already. But I cancel foreclosures right now in the name of Jesus. I rebuke those powers that are operating in the financial realm to hinder you. I destroy those powers in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Not by power, not by might, but by the Holy Spirit. There's somebody you think of committing suicide because you thought in your mind that God doesn't answer prayer. If God was there, why am I going through this? Thou shalt not commit suicide. Thou shalt praise the Lord. Lift your hands and begin to praise him because God has already delivered you. You just don't know. Just rejoice. Just because you don't know, it doesn't mean God hasn't done it. It's glorious. It's, the anointing is so heavy on this young lady. Very powerful. Very powerful. Lord, 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 dimensions increase right now. Call creative miracles to manifest right now. In the name of Piercing Darkness every Sunday at 5 p.m. with Apostle Ronald Solly right here on Channel 61 or 13 in the Palm Beaches. Don't miss it. Your miracle. Tune in every Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time for an awesome show, revival, miracles, signs, and wonders. Don't miss Satan it with Apostle Ronald Solly. uses religion, which is a form of godliness, but is not real. There is no relationship. There is no relationship when we are in religion. When people go to church and sing hymns, if they don't have Christ revelation, they have no relationship. Are you following me here? The God of this world has blinded their eyes. You're watching Piercing Darkness. Signs, wonders, miracles, the dead raised, lives changed, souls are one. Don't miss your miracle. 5 p.m. Eastern every Sunday with Apostle Ronald Sauber. So healing can manifest as a gift of healing or in the gift of faith on miracles. But, but it can also manifest when we claim it. When what? Now remember this. HIV, not a gift of healing. It's a gift of miracles because the doctors don't have a way of treating it. So if you're praying for somebody with HIV, they have to claim the healing through the word of God. And they should have faith. But also, there are people that have gifts. Like, you know, when the gifts are operating, the people can receive their healings just like that. That's why you see sometimes when somebody will come and pray for somebody for hours and nothing happens. Another person shows up within seconds, the person is healed. They have a gift. Welcome to the free zone. This is a sickness free zone. Hallelujah. Let me hear you say, I believe and I receive it. Now, I tried to, I said a lot of stuff in the short information because, you know, I, I don't have time to give you everything, but I just try to make it easier for you to understand. Let's continue. Now, the things you can do about healing, for example, you begin to study the word and meditate on it and listen to the scripture, is going to expedite the manifestation. For example, if you believe in God to heal you from a migraine, don't listen to Jay Z music. 
through the gifts of word of knowledge, we see people receiving healing. When a word of knowledge identifies a specific problem somebody is dealing with, at that moment, on the Lord wants to take it out of their life. Another way we receive healing is when we apply the scripture in the areas where the doors are open. Unforgiveness, for example, will keep sickness there. Unforgiveness gives the right to sickness to stay. There was a crippled woman in San Antonio, Texas. She came in a scooter. Her body was really deteriorating fast. She had tons of people had been putting hands on her and the problem never changed. They probably should have said, God don't want to heal me. No, God wants to heal the woman, but there's a secret about a problem that nobody knew about. Probably the Lord spoke to her and she didn't want to receive it. So I showed up in San Antonio. She saw me on TBN. I was being interviewed on TBN. And uh, his church, where, which was hosting me, you know, with, they announced the apostle going to be in this church. So she came from another church to attend the service. What I'm praying for, God gives me a word of knowledge that she has unforgiveness. She needs to forgive somebody. So I told her, you need to forgive somebody. When she forgave that person, tears came down her eyes. Right there, the demon left. She got out of the scooter and began to move. I'm out of time, but before I go, I want to let you know that you have an opportunity to receive Christ in your heart as your Lord and Savior. To receive Jesus in your heart, simply say this after me. Lord Jesus, come into my heart and save me. Remove my name from the book of death. Write my name in the book of life. I accept in my heart as my Lord and Savior. I am born again. If you made a man by Christ, you're born again. Stay in Christ. God bless you.